first, uh, Mr. Arne Langset, head of the Secretariat of Indre Helgeland Region Council of Moirana, just on the other side of the border towards Norway and the Atlantic coastal area. And they, the Indre Helgeland uh, Region Road, they aims to promote and enhance the common interest of uh, some certain municipalities in that area. And um, I also tried to, to catch uh, logistics and and Arne, 77, 78, you were a military specialist in heavy haulage and special transportation. So this is also <laughs> your experience in that. Please, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you to the organizers. And uh, I also will express my thanks to Brian Simpson for his uh, clear and straightforward commitment. Uh, it makes the whole process so much uh, better and so much more important for, for us. Um, I will start out with this one. Uh, Norway's strategic position is important, of course, for our economy, for our society, but also for a bigger region and also for the EU. Europe is one of the major world trading partners and most of its trade exchanges carried by maritime transport. More than 80% of world trade is carried by sea. Norway is a great sea nation. We heard a lot about possibilities in the northern sea route, I will point out some of how we see it from our perspective. If you see these maps, it shows how we can predict that some of the transport routes will change um, because of climate change and less ice in the north areas. If you see the predictions from 2040 and so on, uh, lots of transportation can be sent on a route straight over the North Pole. And as uh, Mr. Paul Holthaus said, just uh, the Russians are building ice breakers for their own purposes in the area and the Chinese is financing the icebreaker. Uh, if you see the straight red line over the pole, it comes down to where the traffic today is going right out from Norland County in Norway, the neighboring county to Westerbotten and Umeå. In that area, there is two 10T ports today. It's Moirana and Narvik. Narvik is on the core network. Moirana and the E12 on the comprehensive 10T network. We are working systematically to strengthen our position in the T, uh, 10T system and connecting to motorways of the seas. Norway will be an important actor in the north, if we like it or not. <laughs> um, I pointed out the islands of Spitsbergen and Svalbard, which most likely will be the center of regional security for the transport route through the North Pole. Norwegian land and with a long-term and near connection to the industry and the transport sectors in Helgeland, Moirana, and Narvik, as you will hear from the next spe speaker. Most of the analysis is of the biggest scale transport between Rotterdam 
and maybe to Shanghai or Yokohama. But there also will be other needs for transportation along the same route. Ports in Norway may be important for EU, and I must say from my point of view, the 10T and the motorway of the seas is already important for us. Our transport routes are linking together the existing Scandinavian Mediterranean corridor that goes to Stockholm and the North Sea Baltic co corridor that go to Tallinn. Both the two routes from Umeå to Moirana and also to Narvik uh, can fill different sort of purposes and together be a transportation system out to Atlantic ports that can be of uh, high well value for the Baltic region and for the European Union. And also for us, for Norwegian industry, Norwegian economy, it gives us a straight and better uh, connection to bigger markets south of us and east from us. If you look at that map and see the distances, there is about 47 or 470 kilometers from Moirana to, to Umeå. It's less than from Moirana to Trondheim in the middle of Norway. And when you see the amounts of people that will buy Norwegian products, or maybe also sending pro products to ports in the north, you can see why we are looking in this direction. So a little bit of description of ourselves, our region. Helgeland is the region with Moirana, Morsan, Sandersan, Trennesund. A region with large surplus of hydro hydroelectric power. A region where some of the major oil and gas fields is straight out from our coast and is the leading industrial development zone in northern Norway, maybe in Norway totally. Helgeland is a region in economical growth. Also in a year when the oil prices goes down and uh, slows down the economy in other parts of Norway. A little bit about Moirana, the biggest industrial city in the northern, northern Norway, a regional center and a transport hub. The Moirana Harbor is the one of the largest in northern Norway. Uh, and we just found out, <laughs> we was not aware of that, but we found out what we is the number one breakboat port in Norway because of uh, the steel industry. About and uh, if we see to motorways of the seas um, that aim to get brake bulk over to container traffic, to get mo musty model P. Uh, we have all the um, possibilities to build such a transportation system, also with uh, areas for uh, dry port facilities on land. We are building a new deep water berth, joint uh, between the industry and the port of Moirana. <coughs> a little bit back to the transport route. Norwegian traffic and road author authorities are cooperating with the Swedish authorities, uh, planning 
and maintaining transport route from Helsinki straight line to Muirama. It's up to us to find some useful transportation or, or cargo to use this, this route. Anyway, Norway is one of the world's major maritime nations. We have one of the world's largest merchant fleets. We are the world's third largest exporter of seafood. The Midway Alignment Project will result in a secure, environmentally and economically sustainable transport system between our region and the Baltic. This will expand the connections between strong, fast-growing, internationally important regions in the north of Europe. 